Hello everyone. Today we're going to be testing differential fluid with 150,000 miles on it. Now this is considered lifetime fluid, so we're going to get scientific with it because we're going to be sending it to Blackstone Laboratories and we're actually going to be testing the theory about lifetime fluids if they actually still have properties after 150,000 miles. So we're going to show you how to set it up and mail it to Blackstone Laboratories. We know there's a lot of videos out there that already shows that, but we're going to show you how we're going to do it and then we're going to tell you guys what the results showed. Okay, so first off, Blackstone gives us a cheat sheet. It says, do drive 15 minutes per far sampling. We're not going to do that, so we'll let them know. Do sample the middle of the drain stream. We actually did that, so we did that by accident, but we did it. Do sample with the pump if you want to keep using the oil currently in place. We don't have to worry about that. Do fill out the slip. We're going to do that. Do ensure the white lid is on tight. Write your name or customer number on the cap. Do wrap the white bottle in the gray material and put it in the bag that goes in the black mailer. And then do use free UPS, USPS label. All right. So let's just go ahead and do the hard part. And that's going to be filling it up. I'm going to call that good. Ooh, that smells horrible. All right. Lid is on tight. Okay, we filled it up. And now we're going to go ahead and write my name. Let's see if that, that works. Now, it says to wrap this like this. All right, it says wrap the black thing and put in bag. All right. I'm assuming this is like a little absorption thing. If it like leaks or anything like that, it's like gonna absorb it. All right, it's in the bag. And then everything goes in the black miller tight lid. All right, we did that. Now we're gonna fill out this information, but we're gonna leave out our credit card number because you guys like to go shopping. Was the oil changed when the sample was taken? Yes. Are you interested in extended oil use? Yes. Have you used any additives? No. Would you like a tan? I don't know what that is. We'll have to. So we're, this is what we're going to do. Additional comments. So we're going to put 2010 Hyundai Genesis. And we're going to do Shell Spirax. And it's going to be... Star, 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 diff, fluid, star, star, star. All right, so we're gonna do check. And then let's see, back here, transmission automatic, rear wheel drive, shell, sp Spirax 75W90. 75W90, and then I think that's it. Okay, so at this point in time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill out this information um, behind the camera, and then we're gonna put everything in this bag that they gave us and ship it off, and we will find out what happens. Okay, everyone, the report is in, and I am excited because, just to tell you right away, they said that the gear fluid is in amazing condition, so, I am completely surprised. And uh, so we're gonna go over this right now. Okay, everyone, let's look at the report. So this is a report provided by Blackstone Laboratories. And we're just gonna be talking about the comment section because they summarized the whole report in there. And we'll talk a little bit about the bottom part. But essentially, Blackstone provides you a cheat sheet that allows you to decipher and understand the report a little bit more. But I really do like their summary. So let's go ahead and read it. David, this sample of Shell Spirex 75W90 tested incredibly well. Iron is the main wear metal we see from differentials, as most of the parts are made of steel. Iron is far lower than the universal average level, 
and these regions show expected wear for a Hyundai differential after 70,000 miles of oil use. Less iron after a longer oil change is outstanding. The oil's viscosity is correct for 75W90, there's no water contamination, and insolubles, solids, are good at only a trace. This is a great report, so we think you could run the next oil 20,000 miles longer than this. Now, if you look at the portion underneath it, just real quickly, if you see iron at 82 units, the universal average is 264. Now, using the cheat sheet that Blackstone provides us, you could look at other things and kind of nerd out on this, but this is a great report, and I'm really excited because this is evidence. Lifetime fluid is real, and this is a lab report, and it doesn't get any more uh, scientific or or evidential or evidence than this. So it's true. Lifetime fluid is real and it's backed up by evidence. As a matter of fact, we've driven this car in the rain, the snow, in all four seasons here in Colorado, in the humidity of uh, Florida, across the country a couple of times. This car has seen a lot. A lot of action and this fluid has seen every type of environment and almost every type of factor and criteria to meet the severe and the normal driving underneath the manual so this is really cool so guys that's it lifetime fluid is real now of course I have to state that lifetime fluid shell Spyrax 75 w90 is the one that we're referencing so if Shell can make lifetime fluid, then we know other people can. If they're stating it, then of course they're trying to meet a certain criteria and a certain requirement for the fluid. And now it's completely true. Like there's no question that this fluid could have gone another 100,000 miles or so based on this information. Um, and really, if you think about it, a lot of people don't drive that much. If people are driving that much, um, you know, that's a different story. But I ended up changing the fluid. If I knew this information, I probably wouldn't have changed the fluid. So all you Genesis guys out there, if you haven't cha changed out your fluid and your diff, and you're not even close to 150 or even 200, I think you're good. I personally would definitely change it about 250 to 300, but if you think about how much miles that is, there is some truth in the fact that lifetime fluid is real. Well guys, this was exciting. I love figuring out nerdy stuff like this because I'm a nerd myself. And guys, thanks for uh, supporting the channel. Make sure you share this video with anybody who might find it interesting. And again, thank you and you have a good day.